Hello, Quad Flying Fun here. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests on uh, how to apply the gra dry graphite lube to the uh, N40 motors. And uh, actually, I mean, this would work for the N40, the N30, and the N20, as long as it has a similar type brush in it as what these little, um, the N40 has that's in our, uh, you can see my tarantula sitting here. Um, all I do, I just get, I put some of the dry graphite lube in a bowl like this and just get a little bit of it on the, uh, I'll get down here so you can see it, just get a little bit of it on a screwdriver just like this. And you can see the hole here, the vent hole. See, I missed with a little bit of it. I'll just pull that up here and shove that down in there. You want to turn the motor upside down like this and just put the graphite in it like this. That's all I do. And it doesn't take a lot because a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. You can see here I got the stuff on the screwdriver and I just put it in there like that. And once I get it in there, then I rotate the uh, prop just a little bit. You can see the motor spinning in there. This is my amp pull motor, the, what I tested it on the first time to actually see if it worked. And uh, you just turn it like that and get it so that it turns in there and then just turn this around and basically just knock the excess out of it. I mean it'll come out when you start to quad up anyways, but uh, it'll go everywhere if you don't. Uh, what I do, I go outside and just blow in this hole. Now this motor, you can see it's got extra holes in it. I was experimenting with uh, heat relief on this one a long time ago, but just blow on it. It'll, it'll blow out the other side and uh, you're good to go. That's really all you have to do. And uh, this stuff's really something else. Um, I'm, uh, I lost my train of thought there. Um, Oh, yeah, I know what I was going to say. I'm actually going to take, I bought me a little uh, speed meter here. You can see I got that in the mail the other day. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, clamp my test motor down. Actually, I'm going to get another one, another test motor. I'm going to do an amp pull on it with my multimeter to see what kind of amps is flowing through it. Now, what I do, I use a fully charged 7.4 volt battery for the test. I'll do an amp pull. I'm going to shut it down. I'll paint one of the blades so I can get an accurate reading with my uh, speed um, digital. It's a digital tachometer, I should say. Get an accurate reading on it, and then I'll do it. And after, I'll run it again afterwards after treatment with the graphite lube, and uh, to see what the amps, how many amps it's pulling, and the speed of the propeller to just make sure that. Uh, basically my assessment's correct in the fact that these motors are uh, working better with the graphite lube in them than they were before. And it, I mean, I basically have already seen it already. This quad, is it, uh, it's worked really well on it so far. So um, I hope that ev helps everybody. Um, sorry about that little delay there in the, in the center. I'll try to edit most of that out, but lost my train of thought there for a second. But I uh, hope that helps everyone. Um, kind of explains how I do this. Um, not hard. Um, just a little bit messy at times that you don't want to get this stuff on anything because it'll uh, it'll mark whatever like these white quads it'll it'll mark it a little bit but um, hope you like that hope it helps everybody and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like that and uh, please subscribe till the next time see you bye